think I'm a monkey, you need to listen to this story. So recently, um, Gabrielle and I were in Jamaica. The guy that we were staying with, his name was Hugo. One day Hugo had asked us if we wanted to make a run with him to a neighboring village to pick up some coconuts. To give you a little backstory on Hugo, Hugo is a guy who um, is a raw food eater. So he doesn't eat anything cooked, anything processed. He's got, <laughs> he's got a, a sugar cane man, a banana woman, a coconut man, like he's got a different person he goes to for all of the different foods that he eats. So we hopped in his car and we headed out. And if you've never been on the island before, like most people think that island life is like really mellow, really laid back. It's a lie. It's a huge lie because the way that people drive on the islands is crazy. Like I felt like I was in the middle of a rally car race the entire time. Like not only are the roads super narrow, but they will pack two cars and 12 people and goats and all of these all of these extra things on these super narrow roads. get to this village and there's like this small group of people talking outside of a bar and one of the men was yelling at the others and as we pull up he turned around and saw us immediately started taking off in the opposite direction and without saying a word in the car you go flips the van around and we start following this man up the road like he must have thought we were the police or something the way that he took off he finally comes up to this like sheer cliff side and there was a bunch of overgrowth right along the edge of the road and he disappears. All of a sudden he comes back onto the road and he's dragging these big bunches of coconuts. And I'm thinking like, there are so many coconuts here. I don't know how we're gonna get them into the back of the van. And so I start lifting these bunches, which probably had like 12 of them a piece. And they probably weighed like 50 or 60 pounds, like ridiculously heavy for what they were. And the man told me his name and I said, oh, it's bigger. Like I said, bigger. And he's like, nah, me name bigger. <laughs> <laughs> and he's and he, he, he like firmly corrected me and I was just kind of taken back for a second the way that he the way that he spoke what was cool about Biga was that this man is the only one in the area willing to climb those ridiculous heights to get coconuts and some of those heights are up towards a hundred feet and what's crazy about it is he doesn't use any ropes or harnesses like when he goes up he said I just have a machete on my hip and I just scale hands and feet all the way to the top of these trees. Imagine being like a hundred feet off the ground in the Caribbean with the, the wind blowing and the trees swaying and all you're holding on with is your legs, you have a machete, and you're hacking at a 60 pound bunch of coconuts. And then once you break it off, you can't just drop it because then the coconuts, remember they're pressurized so they explode and they're no good. So now you have to shimmy down this tree with this bunch of coconuts in your hand and a machete on your hip. It's crazy. And he told me, he said, the higher you climb, the sweeter the coconut. And so here's what I learned from Bigger, the coconut man. Don't be afraid to go the extra distance. The fruit is sweeter up there. I mean, you, you may be met by a new set of obstacles, but the reward for overcoming them is what separates good from great.